in section 5, 6, no, 5, 5, sorry. And it's on the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. Okay, before we can talk about remainders and factors, we have to talk about division. Okay, we are going to be doing polynomial division. I've been warning you of it since last week. Uh, so polynomial division, here is one type. You can divide a polynomial by a monomial. And if this is what you're doing, you're just going to divide every term of the polynomial by that monomial. So it's going to be 3x to the fourth over 2x squared plus 5x squared over 2x squared minus 2x over 2x squared plus 1 over 2x squared. And you're just dividing each individual term. Okay. So we do that and we simplify. This is going to be 3 halves, x to the fourth divided by x squared is going to be x squared, plus 5 over 2, the x squareds are going to cancel, so we're going to have 5 over 2, that's it. Then this is going to be minus, the 2's will cancel, and then we've got x divided by x squared, so that's going to actually leave us with a 1 over x. Okay, because when you subtract, it's going to be x, or x to the 1 minus 2, which is x to the negative first, which moves the x to the denominator. And then this will just be plus 1 over 2x squared. And it's no longer a polynomial function because you cannot have x is in the denominator and have it be a polynomial function. But that's how you divide a polynomial by a monomial. Okay, well what if it's not a polynomial divided by a monomial? What if we're going to divide by another polynomial? Well, a polynomial divided by another polynomial can be done. One method is by polynomial long division. Okay, so let's start with some vocabulary. Okay, this number, the number you're dividing by, and I should have done that on the other slide, but this number, because we're dividing by this polynomial, is called the divisor. Okay, this number that we are dividing is called the dividend. Okay, that's the number you're dividing. And then, of course, your answer you get is the quotient. So, and sometimes we have a remainder. All right, so let's do the division. When you're setting up polynomial long division, you start with the divisor. That goes outside the box. So you're going to have x squared minus 3x plus 5, and then you're going to make your little division box. And you're going to write your polynomial inside here, or the dividend goes inside the division box. Now, first of all, look at the polynomial. Is there a term missing? Remember, polynomial, polynomial functions, it's by decreasing degree, and look, there's an x squared term missing. So when we're dividing, you always have to include that. So we have to include a 0x squared when we write down the dividend. So this is going to be 3x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 0x squared plus 4x minus 6. Okay. Now we have it set up. Your quotient's going to be on top of the fraction bar, just like in numeric long division. Okay. But this is a little different. What you want to do, whatever you write up here for your quotient, you're going to have to multiply by the number out here. And then you're going to subtract, just like in regular old long division anytime. Not that anybody remembers it, but that's how it is. So whatever we write up here, we're going to multiply by this, and we're going to subtract down here. So we're going to start with, you look at the first term here, and the first term here. From the first term of your dividend, what do you have to multiply the first term of the divisor by to get that? What do I multiply x squared by so I will equal 3x to the fourth? Okay, well, I have to multiply it by a 3, and I'm going to have to x squared times x squared, so it's going to have to be 3x squared. Now, on the quotient line, I'm going to line up my like terms, okay? So, x squared is here, 
So I'm going to write 3x squared there. Now you're going to multiply. You're going to take this 3x squared and you're going to multiply it by this divisor. So 3x squared times x squared is 3x to the fourth. Oh good, that's exactly what I wanted. Now you just continue multiplying. 3x squared times negative 3x is negative 9x cubed. I'm lining up like terms. And then 3x squared times 5 is going to be plus 15x squared. Now you're going to do polynomial subtraction. And we're going to subtract. Okay? So it's 3x to the 4th minus 3x to the 4th. Oh good, that cancels. It's what I wanted. Next one is negative 5x cubed minus negative. Well, minus a negative becomes plus. So minus a negative becomes plus 9. So negative 5 plus 9 is 4x cubed. And then 0 minus 15 is negative 15x squared. Then you're going to bring down the next term. So plus 4x. Now you're going to do the same thing. Ask yourself the same questions again. What do I have to multiply x squared by to make it 4x cubed? Oh, 4x. So I'm going to put plus 4x up here. Now I'm going to multiply. 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. 4x times 3x is minus 12x squared. 4x times 5 is plus 20x. And then you subtract. Okay. Ooh, the first terms cancel. Yay, that's what needed to happen. Negative 15x squared minus negative 12. Well, minus the negative becomes plus. So negative 15 plus 12 is negative 3x squared. And then 4 minus 20 is negative 16x. Bring down the next term, minus 6. I'm going to have to write small. What's new? All right, what do I multiply? x squared by to make it negative 3x squared. Oh, that's easy, negative 3. Now I multiply. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 3x is positive 9x. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And we're going to subtract. Okay. Oh, minus a negative becomes plus, and those two cancel. That's what I wanted to happen. Yay. All right. It's negative 16 minus 9 is negative 25x. Negative 6 minus negative 15 is positive 9. This, my darlings, is the remainder. Okay. The quotient is, now your final answer, the quotient or the final answer after you do the division should always be written out as 3x squared plus 4x minus 3 plus the remainder over the divisor. Plus, or you could say minus, negative 25x plus 9, and I know I'm squeezing and I'm sorry, over x squared minus 3x plus 5. Okay, so this is your final answer.